Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful, fantastic, and all that good stuff. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. We are going to create a card for Pretty Pink Posh today. We're going to be using the Crafty Critters stamp set. It has a little mouse and a little koala, which I'll probably, during the video, call it a panda, because that's just what I do. I don't know <laughs> why. But there is sentiment in here that says happy crafting. And then there's also some fun crafty tools. It'd be great for school supplies too. But we're going to use this along with the coordinating crafty critters die. And then I thought it would be fun to have one of these crafty critters coming out of a present. So we are going to be using the build a gift um, die set from Pretty Pink Posh also. Um, I think it's going to be super cute because I have some kind of a thing that I want to do with the presents. So we're going to start by doing a little bit of stamping. The coloring is going to be really basic because for the most part all the little crafty supplies in this set are on the smaller side. So coloring is going to be pretty easy. Let's go ahead and bring in our stamping positioner. I went ahead and put all my images on the lid of my Misty. The only one I'm not going to really, well, let's stamp the, the square too. We might as well stamp them all. The only one I'm not going to stamp is the koala, which I didn't call a panda, which is good. <laughs> and um, I am going to stamp the sentiment, but we're going to use a different ink for that. Since we're coloring with Copic markers, I'm going to break it out. My Memento Tuxedo Black ink. This is my go-to ink whenever I do alcohol marker coloring. And it dries really fast, too. That's why I like the um, colored inks, too. But I'll stamp my images. How cute. And then I'm going to take an acrylic block. And we are going to stamp a few more rulers. And... And then I wonder why my fingers get inky. It's because I don't wipe off my stamps before I pick them up. <laughs> but we'll stamp our ruler a couple more times. Sometimes I get an idea in my head and I just want to roll with it. So that's what we're doing. So I stamped the rulers. So we have three different rulers here. And let's stamp a couple more of these squares. Okay, so our images are stamped and let's zoom in I will leave the caps out for you guys over here so let's play some music while I color and when I'm done coloring I will be right back is all done. I'm going to go ahead and separate the coordinating dies and then I'm going to die, uh, die cut out all of my images. After all of my images are die cut, um, I did stamp and die cut out the word crafting 
and we're going to do a little bit more die cutting. So I'm going to put these off to the side and we're going to bring in our build a gift die set. I created a card with this before and I loved it. I added glitter to it. So I'm going to do the same thing today. Um, and we're going to um, die cut out a couple presents. Now, one of, these are actually layerable. You cut this out, you have a whole bunch of polka dots on a panel. This is the background. So I'm going to take the polka dots and die cut out some green cardstock. And then with the stitched detail present, I'm going to die cut out that with some teal colored cardstock. I'll take um, this little piece and die cut that out with the green also. And then this little stitched piece, I'll die cut out with the um, teal colored cardstock. Now there's some bows in here, but I want to sparkle it up. So I'm going to be using some no shed glitter. This is um, nice weight and it's really super shiny gold. I'm going to die cut out this ribbon piece. And then there's also this little bow piece. I'm going to die cut this out three times and I, I'm going to die cut out this out twice along with this background for my polka dots. So we have some gold sparkly polka dots. So I'm going to run this through my die cut machine along with my two presents and then I will be right back. Okay, I went ahead and die cut out everything that I needed. And I'll just put these back. I just love the stitch detail in here. This is that polka dot panel that you can just take all the polka dots out, which is really nice, and then you can layer it. I die cut out this with gold, so we have gold polka dots. Makes it really easy. Um, and then if you want to keep the polka dots, you could actually add them to your another present if you wanted to. But I am going to put everything else aside, and we're going to do a little bit of ink blending. I've been doing ink blending lately and I love the outcome. You're just taking um, cardstock to the next level. Okay, this present here we're going to go um, horizontal. And I thought it'd be cute if this little guy was hanging out of the little present. I may, actually let's do that. I'm going to cut a little slit in the arm of this guy. This way, its arm can overlap in this tail. I think that's so cute. Actually, it stays pretty stationary if you do that, too. <laughs> How cute is that? I just think that's adorable. But before we add our little mouse, we're going to ink blend um, these pieces here. It's just going to give our presents a little bit of uh, definition. I'm going to be using some oxide inks. And for our green, I'm using Mode Lawn. And I'm just going to bring in my blending brush and add a little bit of color to the bottom and fade out. I've been loving this lately. And I love the green. On, the mode lawn on a light green cardstock is just lovely. <laughs> and then for the little stitched pieces, these are um, the present tops. I'm going to do the left and right of this one. Um, for my teal colored present, I wanted it to stand out a little bit more, so we're using prize ribbon, and I'm going to use a blending brush, and we're going to add some color to the bottom of this one, and kind of fade up. When you do this in their stitch detail, the stitch detail really pops out. I really like that, and I think that's perfect. We'll put these up here, and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go left to right with um, this stitched piece. And I'm going to kind of go heavy on the end and kind of fade out. I'm just going to add a little bit of definition. And then that one's done also. Now we can adhere our presents. I'm going to go ahead and flip over my polka dots. Just using my tape runner, I'm going to add some adhesive. And then we will layer this on top of our gift here. And then this piece, I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive behind and we're going to layer this right on the top 
of our present. This is going to close the lid of our gift. You can use that also as a ribbon, but I'm going to use it as a present topper. Okay, now we have these pieces here. I die cut out two of them. I'm going to use this one on my blue. This is a little, well, I'm going to bring in a piece of I'm going to use the foam square um, backing to add some adhesive behind here. This way it doesn't stick to my craft mat and I can get adhesive all over the back. Again, if you want to use glue, you, if you want to use glue for this, you very well could. This present is going to be open and so I want this to be the lid, but I do want to add another small strip of gold on the lid because we're going to put a bow here. Actually, I'm going to extend it out so we have a place to put our bow, like so. And then I'll trim off the bottom. This is overhanging, but that's great because we can add our bow to that piece that's overhanging. And I do want to like so. I'm actually going to put two here. We're going to make this a full bow. So we overlapped two of them. And I have the bow a little bit wonky, but I think that's going to be playful. Um, I am going to flip this over and we're going to add a small strip of foam adhesive behind the present. Okay. For this gift, I'm just going to use one of those bows and we'll add some adhesive behind here. And then this is going to go on the very top. And then we have adorned our present with a sparkly ribbon. I'm going to flip this over. We're going to add some foam adhesive behind here and get this ready to go along with this one. Actually, we'll use... Now we have all our presents done and our images stamped. Now we need to work on our background. Today I'm keeping it quite simple. I went ahead and adhered my little mouse. You can see he's there. What I did was I had already put foam adhesive, but I just tacked him down on top of the foam adhesive. So it's very easy to do. And then I want to, I want to add some tissue paper Behind my present, I think that's just going to be adorable. So I have a small piece of just regular gift wrapping tissue paper. I went through my birthday stash and got this. If you don't have this, you can improvise and use um, sometimes behind acetate that you buy, like Judikins and Bustable Acetate will have the tissue. Keep that tissue. You could use that. Or you could even use um, toilet tissue. <laughs> small piece would be cute behind here. Just anything that emulates tissue paper. Um, and I, what I'm going to do is trim this little piece into two, and then I'm going to fold it over and kind of crinkle it, like so, like a little hanky. <laughs> and I'm going to remove the release paper off of, or halfway down, I should say. And then I'm going to add tissue to this side. Add our little notebook. like so, and then I'm going to put tissue behind my notebook, even better, because it's a different level. I think that looks cute. What do you think? And of course, if you want to put some more tissue behind our little mouse, you very well could, but I wanted this to be like a craft boss explosion. <laughs> okay, so that's done. Almost. Let's add a ruler. I think that looks really cute. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more tissue behind this mouse because my tissue kind of got lost a little bit and I think that looks really good. You could even have some overhanging in the front. Maybe we should do that. I'm going to go ahead and tuck some tissue right in front of my little mouse and I'm just using the end of my paintbrush. It's a flat end. If you have a craft pick, which I can't find mine, <laughs> that works out. But see, I'm covering up the mouse, but that's okay because you can fold this over 
and give it an even more 3D look. So we have a cute little gift box. I just love doing stuff like this because it just adds so much to a card. Now the easy part, we're going to put this aside and work on our background. I have a piece of white cardstock. This measures, I'm not sure, so let's measure it. Sometimes if I have my Misty on my desk, it's easier to grab that to measure. Two and three quarter inches wide by four inches long. So this is going to be a great background for a home, but I do want to add some color in our background. So to do that, I'm just going to use my blending brushes. There's still ink on here, so I'm using my blue and my green. And I'm going to add the green to the bottom. And I really don't need too much, because for the most part, this section is going to be covered with our gift. But I do want to add a little color up here. Oops, my scissors got stuck. I'm going to add another uh, some foam adhesive on the back of my mouse here. That way everything's all one level. And we're just going to remove the release paper off of our foam tape and add this. We're going to go ahead, I'm going to save room for my sentiment. So this I thought we would put here. And then we'll add our green one. Really fun, huh? Now, um, I have this is the lid to our box. I'm going to put this on top of my present. And I think I'm not going to press down because I still want to add my sentiment. In fact, let's do that right now um, before we go any further because I do need to stamp happy. So we have happy crafting. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna stamp happy right here in this green area, just using my black ink. I'm gonna use my VersaFine ink. Stamp this. So let's add our crafting. And then we have all of our little goodies. And let's go ahead and fill up our box. We'll put one underneath that present. Just to add a little more blue over here. Kind of overhanging too, I like that. Okay, so we have a present bursting with crafty supplies. I think it's every crafter's dream to have a box like that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take this and grab our card base. Our card base is a standard A2 size card base. And we're going to take some teal colored cardstock. Um, it's actually the same color of the pre um, the present that we blended on. And I'm going to adhere this directly to my card front. It's basically a card front panel, so it measures four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I'm going to remove the release paper off the back of my, my panel here, and we're just going to place this in the center of our card base. After I did all my arranging and placing my sentiment, I decided, um, I readjusted everything from this end to this end, and I decided not to use my green present. Um, I'll save that for another card, but I think it kind of took away from all the crafty elements that we had, and so we're not going to use the green polka dot present. And also, my, I'm going to use my glossy accents to go over my swatches, my scissors, and my my... my little paint palette, and then we're gonna go in with some sequins. I'm gonna use the Pretty Pink Posh Sparkling Clear Sequin Mix. Okay, and I think that looks better. And if you wanted to, you could always put your little crafty present on the inside, but I think this was just too much for all that I had going on on top. So that will finish my card today for Pretty Pink Posh. I have everything linked below if you're interested in anything. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining me, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.